All right, my favorite story of the night, juice is on its way to Jupiter. The European Space Agency successfully launched its spacecraft from South America today. Take a look. Four, two, one, stop. Allumage Vulcan. Allumage AP décollage. The JUICE spacecraft launched on top of an Ariane rocket this morning. It's going to take about eight years to get to our solar system's largest planet. Once it's there, sometime in 2031, it'll be looking for extraterrestrial life on the planet's three moons. The moons are believed to have underground oceans where marine life could possibly exist. Joining me now to break it all down is former NASA astronaut Mike Massimino. He's also a Columbia University engineering professor and senior advisor for the space programs at the Intrepid Museum. You have the longest title of any guest on my show tonight. Sorry. <laughs> all right, this is a big deal. It's the first spacecraft ever to orbit a moon that's not our own. That's correct. Yeah, it's a really big deal. Very interesting, too. We, we've had spacecraft going to Jupiter for many years. Uh, and uh, in the last few decades, there's been evidence that the moons, the moons of Jupiter, which we thought were just kind of like frozen rocks or not, and not could ever harbor any life, are warmer than we expected. And that there could be lots of water, oceans underneath the surface. How did we find that out? Because they're encased in this thick crust of ice. Yeah. And we now think they're... ice on yeah. these three moons. Well, they're very, the, the astronomers are very clever. So on the previous missions like uh, Galileo and Juno, which is a spacecraft there now, they're able to do things like look at the gravitational pull between Jupiter and the moons. They can take temperature readings and the, the, the uh, moons are warmer than expected. So that gives them I, an idea that underneath that ice is going to be there. some water because it's warm enough to have water exist. And our scientists think on Earth that life most likely came out of the ocean in the mm. beginning. So if you look at these moons that are out there that have big oceans uh, and a heat source, because they do have warmer temperatures, and possibly organic materials as well, those are the building blocks for life. So that's why they're excited about looking a little bit further wow. into these moons. One moon of the three in particular mm -hmm. is intriguing to NASA and other astronauts. Mm -hmm. It's the biggest moon, Ganymede. Ganymede, yes. And, and the probe will circle it several times, getting lower and lower each time until yeah. it's only just 300 feet off the surface. Yeah, it's going to come in really close. Will it be able to, like, how are we going to find out if there are any signs of life down there? So what, plus all the water we hope. It's, it's, it's going to be able to take measurements um, like, like temperature, uh, imaging of what the surface looks like, maybe looking for cracks in the surface, see if there's anything flowing uh, out of there. It could also look for the, if there's any a magnetic field, any motion in there that would indicate that there are oceans underneath. Would we ever land it on the surface at some this point one, in the future? This one's actually gonna, cra so there, this, the European mission is gonna be followed by a NASA mission, mm -hmm. which is gonna go to Europa, which is another moon that they're very excited about. But this one, uh, as you mentioned, is going to get closer and closer. The plan is to crash it into Ganymede. But they're going to be careful about that because why, there are these signs. Well, you can learn a lot. When, when you impact something, you can learn a lot about it. They can take readings of any kind of seismic activity, what the surface was like from that, from knocking it into, from, from that crash. But they don't want to damage anything either. So I think they're holding off on making the final decision if they'll actually do that until they get a little bit closer. It's going to be many years from now. But so we might see if there's the building blocks of life, but we're not yeah. going to get down there and actually see if there's. No, life. that's the thing is unless that somebody like waves from the surface. Well, if ET is there, they're going to find <laughs> yeah. out. We might have known that already. But All what right. we're looking for is maybe some signs that it could exist, and then where to go and explore more and get a return to, to examine. Mike Massimino, thanks so much. And thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider, and don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.